And I just want to say congratulations to Angeria for being the latest all-star winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Congratulations to Angeria. She did a really, really great job in the competition. And I just want to address a couple things that I've been seeing floating around on the internet. So, uh, Angeria, um, I feel like she did a really great job throughout the entire competition. She was pretty steady. She had a great track record. She had some really great looks. She, uh, her talent, um, w was good. It was decent. It was great. Um, you know, of course there's going to be some people who are going to be upset that their faves didn't win. So, Andrea was in the top three with Roxy and Vanjie. Um, you know, look, I would have been fine with with anybody there really wasn't anyone that I was like oh gross like I don't want them to win or it there really wasn't anyone that I felt like oh they didn't deserve it or whatever I feel like everybody everyone really showed up and showed out and it it, it, it was it was a good season and I, honestly and at the end I could have seen the crown going towards uh to Roxy or Angie um and I would have been fine if uh, Vanjie got it as well but given the track record and all things considered just the full package deal i knew vanjie probably w wasn't going to get the crown uh we kind of all knew that it was going to come down to roxy and angeria which was really you know climactic because of the rivalry of the going back and forth that they had throughout the whole season now what i will say i i think that is very disheartening like the fans my fault the fans fighting about who should have won is one thing. But when it's other queens tearing down a queen, look, she, she, she didn't, if, even if it, cause people were like, well, it was rigged. Roxy was robbed. So-and-so was robbed. Oh my gosh. I can't believe she got it. Even if there was the case, which I really, really don't think that it was, but at the end of the day, this is a reality TV show. This is a show first and a competition second. Let's always keep that in mind. This is this is a reality this is a reality TV show. So things are going to be produced. Regardless. And Jerry won fair and square. She didn't she didn't pay off RuPaul or WoW Productions or whoever to be crowned the winner. And the girl did a great job. Okay. Um when it comes from other queens, the hate and the bashing and look, if you don't want to congratulate the girl and say, wow, you know, you, you put on a great show. That was some great drag. If you're not a fan of her drag, if you, you know, are upset that your friend didn't win or, or whatever, you know, that's one thing. Just keep, just, just, just keep it pushing. Congratulate the girl. Don't congratulate the girl and move on. But I feel like that's just really, um, I've been seeing some queens that have, that, that have been given mean girl, uh, high school behavior. And I know part of the fun of drag queens is to be catty and to do these things, but also, you know, let's just have good sportsmanship. Like it's one thing to be catty and shady and, and kiki and, and have fun and all of this stuff, but this type of online bullying and, and hate and the side eye and the comments and stuff, that's why you will never get a crown. There's a lot that goes into, and amongst other reasons, look, there is a lot that goes into getting crowned to be America's next top drag queen. Okay. There's all these franchises of drag race and there's a lot more chances for people to get a title, be it, uh, you know, whatever country versus the world, all stars, a regular season, you know, you got a lot of chances, but at the end of the day, if you are going to be crowned the winner, there is a lot that goes into who gets that crown beyond your package of your outfits, beyond your package of what you presented on the show, how much you made RuPaul laugh. It is all a collective. And also a huge part of that is your marketability. The bigger this show gets, the more particular they have to be about who's going to represent the and reign for RuPaul's Drag Race, the franchise. And let's just be honest. Roxy has turned a new leaf, but when it comes to who was more fitting, don't get me wrong. I love Roxy. Roxy did a great job. And really in that final lip sync, I don't know. I, 
if it was just based off of the final lip sync, then yeah, probably either Roxy or Vanjie should have got it. I'm just being honest with you. But really, all three of them dancing to Rhythm Nation, Janet Jackson, none of, no, neither one of them, Angeria, Roxy, or Vanjie was giving me Janet. They was not giving me, they was not giving me that, that what the real, what the song was giving. They all did three great performances, but that's what it was. Uh, but Roxy, I feel like if we were just going off of that. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. So, even though Roxy is a great queen, she's proven herself. She's turned a new leaf. She's not one of the yesterday's mean girls. She's grown up. She has matured. But at the end of the day, come on, y'all. Who who really who really embodied the essence of an all-star, a new reigning queen, as it is right now? Now, is it to say that Roxy can't come back in the future and, and maybe, you know, whatever? I'm not saying that Roxy would not be a good representation to wear that crown and get that crown and scepter. I'm not saying that. But Angeria, I think we can all agree, has a certain level of congeniality, a certain level of kindness, a certain level of a, a, a certain reputation that is more fitting to the brand. Now, is that to say that everybody who has been a crown winner of Drag Race is an upstanding citizen and has never gotten in trouble and it's not been an embarrassment. No, we definitely have some people who have been crowned who have embarrassed this franchise. And if you don't think that that has not played a part in the producing of who actually gets crowned, you got to be out of your flipping mind. There's a lot of layers. There's a lot of politics that go into picking the queen, but there is a way to uh, express your dismay, that's not a good word. There's a way to express your sadness for the queen that you wanted to win uh, as a fellow drag queen, but also not tear her down because she just did her best. Now, it's unless it's some behind the scenes stuff that I don't know, that we don't know or whatever. Like I said, it's one thing for fans to be in the comments and be like, man, she shouldn't have won, da, 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 because it's the same as, fans talking about a football game or sporting events this is sports for us we can trash talk you know be respectful because these people do have feelings and it is a little different than talking about a, a whole team or uh, you know when you're talking about individual people even if you're talking about individual players on a specific team you just got to be careful because it is people that have real feelings behind this but anyways I, I i just i hope that Nigeria got the congratulations that she deserved but also you know, not to bring in other people, uh, old queens into this, but sometimes queens win that a lot of people are like, why'd she win? And then they end up being mega successful and we're like, oh, okay, we get it now. An example, Trixie Mattel. When Trixie won All-Stars, people were like, really? Shangela was robbed. Like, this is crazy. Ken Kennedy was robbed. Like, what are you... Now Trixie is literally the most successful drag queen one of if not the most successful drag queen so apparently it gave what needed to be gay but anyways all this to say congratulations to An angeria just be nice be nice the, the the queens who are being petty the queens who have not congratulated her or welcomed her to the winner's circle or you know i mean look i guess it's best to not say anything at all if you don't have anything nice to say, but those of you who are being open and mean and rude and nasty, that baby, that's why you will not be invited back. That's why you will never have a crown. So like, ugh.